Hello, my name is Matt Gracie, and I'm an engineer on the professional services team at Security Onion Solutions. We're hard at work on Security Onion version 2.4, the next major update of our enterprise security monitoring platform. This video is to talk about some of the significant changes that are coming, and how 2.4 differs from our current version, 2.3. It's not intended to be exhaustive, there are too many new features to talk about them all, but rather is an overview of the changes that will have the most impact on the typical deployment and the user experience. If you're a current Security Onion user, I would suggest also checking out our blog and our documentation site for more details. One change is the Linux distribution that we're using as a base operating system for the platform. If you install from our ISO, your Security Onion nodes will be built on top of Oracle Linux 9. Previously, we used CentOS 7 for this role, but with the scheduled end of life of that platform in 2024, we needed to find another distribution that would be supported into the future. If you'd like more context on how we decided that Oracle Linux is the best fit, there's a link to a blog post with more details in the description on this video. If you'd rather not use Oracle Linux, it's still possible to do a network install on an existing installation of Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, CentOS Stream, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu, or Debian. Again, see the blog post for details on this option. Another significant change is the removal of Waza, OS Query, and Elastic Beats agents from the platform in favor of a singular Elastic agent for endpoints. The Elastic agent is available from the downloads page in SOC with pre-built and pre-configured installers for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. There are several advantages to this change. The Elastic agent covers almost all of the use cases of the three agents it replaced, including things like file integrity monitoring, log shipping, and handling live queries from the management console. The endpoint agents are configured and controlled through the Security Onion management node rather than needing to update or configure them directly on the endpoint on which they are installed. And finally, the Elastic agent includes Elastic integrations, which are paths for ingesting data from sources like firewalls, network devices, cloud services, EDR products, and more. This replaces the functionality of FileBeat modules and includes many more third-party data sources that you can integrate into Security Onion for hunting and alerting. The next major change is the integration of node and grid configuration into the Security Onion console. Engineering and tuning tasks that previously required SSH access to the Security Onion manager node are now performed through the web interface. This includes changing firewall rules, tuning NIDs alerts, updating Elasticsearch settings, and more. Everything that required hand-editing YAML files in 2.3 is now exposed through the web interface, which is both more convenient for the administrators of the system and also helps to guide them to the right place to make particular configuration updates. As you can see on the right-hand side of this screenshot, there are shortcuts to many common administrative tasks preloaded in the interface, but every detail of the grid's configuration can be tweaked from this new console. There is also a new interface built into the platform for operational monitoring. The Grafana component in 2.3 has been replaced with the web interface for InfluxDB, along with newly designed dashboards and pre-configured alarms for common grid failures like a loss of monitoring traffic or a failed log stash queue. This provides excellent visibility into the underlying tech stack of your Security Onion grid to spot misconfigurations and troubleshoot performance issues before they cause serious problems. And finally, the grid screen has been updated to provide more information about each node in your grid. In addition to showing the list of connected nodes in their roles, as in 2.3, there is also a list of the individual containers running on each node and their current status and uptime. In a larger deployment, this means that a node in fault can be quickly checked from SOC to determine what component has failed and when, without any command line troubleshooting. Additionally, this screen can be used to import PCAP or EVTX files into the node for evaluation by clicking on those icons in the lower left corner of the node status pane. Finally, we've also simplified the process for adding nodes to a distributed deployment. Newly installed nodes will appear in the web console, where they can be accepted and integrated into your grid. So this concludes the summary of major changes coming to Security Onion 2.4. As I said in the beginning, this is not intended to be exhaustive. There are many small changes and tweaks to tools like Hunt and Cases that we feel will make the interface more useful and efficient for analysts. And not everything is changing. Tools like CyberChef and Playbook are still present and integrated into the product in the same way that they are in 2.3. But overall, this new release is a big step forward, and we're sure you're going to enjoy it. If you'd like more information on the changes coming in 2.4, you can check the documentation page at the URLs listed here. 
Not only are all the new components outlined there, but the release notes will list all the new features and fixes integrated into each version. And if you have questions or comments about the platform, please start a new thread on our discussions forum and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for your time and have a great day.